What's up everybody, I'm Seth Fowler and today I'm reviewing the brand new Kobe One Pro Tro Mamba Day. Thanks so much for tuning in today. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't yet and want to see more reviews just like this one. Also make sure to give me a follow on Instagram and on Twitter at RealSethFowler. But with all that out of the way, let's get into it. Not only is today Friday the 13th, but it's also the two year anniversary of Kobe Bryant retiring from the NBA. Since his retirement on April 13th, 2016, April 13th has been known as Mamba Day because Kobe's the black Mamba, Mamba Day, you see what I'm saying? As I'm sure some of you remember, back in 2016 on the original Mamba Day, Nike released the Fade to Black Pack. That was one of the first times that Nike actually retroed a Kobe model, but since then Nike has released the very first true retro of a Kobe model, the Kobe One Pro Tro. The shoe first released in the black and yellow De La Soul colorway, and the special thing about the Kobe One Pro Tro is that rather than just being a true retro of the original Kobe One, Kobe made it very clear to the Nike design team that he wanted any retros of his sneakers to be updated with new tech. And so the Kobe One Pro Tro was born, hence the name Pro Tro. Pro Retro. But being Mamba Day, you know Nike couldn't let the day pass without releasing at least a couple Kobe models. The first sneaker to drop and the newest to the Kobe lineup, the Kobe AD NXT 360. And of course, the most coveted release of the day, the Kobe One Pro Tro Mamba Day. <laughs> Jumping right into the sneaker, you can tell that the Kobe One Pro Tro Mamba Day fits within the Mamba Day theme because of the black and gold colorway. The leather quality isn't bad, but it's definitely not great. Around the front of the toe, you've got this extra thick piece of black nubuck for added durability. Moving up on the shoe, you've got your black leather center lace loop with the gold Nike swoosh. You've also got triangular metallic black lace eyelets running up the side of the sneaker. The laces you get with the shoe are black rope laces. At the top of the laces, you've got these gold metal aglets that fit within the Mamba Day theme. Underneath the laces, you've got a black tumbled leather tongue. In the center of the tongue, you've got this lace cut out with two gold X's to represent the 20 years that Kobe was in the NBA. At the top of the tongue, you've got a black Nubuck tag with Kobe's logo in the center in gold. And on the back of the tongue, you've got Kobe's signature embroidered into the material. Around the top of the sneaker, you've got a black mesh ankle collar and sock liner. The ankle collar doesn't do much for support. It's primarily there for aesthetics. The heel area of the shoe, however, is very well padded and provides some pretty nice lockdown. The insole of the sneaker is actually pretty cool, both literally and figuratively. It's literally cool because it has perforations, which allow for more airflow, keeping your foot cooler. And it's figuratively cool because it pays homage to Kobe Bryant by having a printed image of him walking away from his last game. That's one thing you always have to give to Nike. They know how to do storytelling on sneakers and they know how to do it well. As for fit, the Kobe One Pro Tro does seem to fit true to size. When you first try the shoe on, it does feel a little bit tight, but the more you wear it, it loosens up. Continuing back on the shoe in the midfoot, you've got your embossed gold leather Nike swoosh. And moving around to the heel of the sneaker, you've got one more hit of black Nubuck. On the left shoe, you've got four gold stripes. These four stripes represent the four feet of thread that had to be used to stitch up Kobe's last Achilles surgery. And on the right shoe, also in gold, you've got the numbers 4, 13, 18, which represent the day that this shoe released. Moving down the sneaker, you've got your classic Kobe One midsole in black. I've got to admit, because the shoe is in black, the glue marks where the midsole connects to the upper are very, very visible. And unfortunately, there's nothing you can do about that. It always tends to be a problem on black shoes. Continuing back on the midsole, you've got a dark gray carbon fiber panel that wraps all the way around to the medial side of the shoe. One major update between the Kobe One Pro Tro and the original Kobe One is that this time around, you have full length zoom air. That should definitely help for impact protection, but I've got to be honest, I'm probably only going to wear this shoe for lifestyle. Finally, moving to the bottom of the sneaker, you've got your Kobe One outsole in black, and in the midfoot, you've got a cutout in the shape of the Nike swoosh, in which you can see carbon fiber underneath. Overall, the Kobe One Pro Tro Mamba Day is an excellent homage to an excellent player. The black and gold colorway is super clean, the material usage is pretty nice, and the overall storytelling of the sneaker is great. This shoe dropped today, Mamba Day, April 13th, for 175 bucks. Now that we've got the review out of the way, let's put these guys on feet and see how they look.
I'd love to hear your thoughts on the Kobe One Pro Tro and whether you're planning to grab a pair for yourself, whether it be in this Mama Day colorway or another upcoming colorway. So make sure to leave those comments in the comment section down below. And as always, thanks so much for watching. Please make sure to like this video if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't yet, and I'll see you guys in the next one.